What do you think? <laughs> That's outstanding. Awesome. Thank you. That is a beachside fish taco if I've ever had one. Hey guys, I'm Greg Hudson, host of America's Best Restaurants. Coming to you right now from Hampstead, North Carolina at, uh, well, let's call it Baja Mex Fast Casual, but it's put together by a guy who was a chef in fine dining for 12 years. So let's head on in to Burrito Shack. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Great to see you. Great to see you, Thanks brother. For coming in. Man, I feel like I just stepped into vacation right now. That's like the vibe and energy in here. You look around. I mean, this feels like I'm on vacation. And that's it. It's a beachy vibe, fresh yeah. food, fresh flavors, and uh, let's take a seat. I can see that, man. And I guess you know we travel the country and we do this, but there's something for me when we get close to the beach. You can feel it in the air. You can you smell, smell it. Yes, air. you can smell. Yes, right. exactly. You can smell that air. And then walking in here, man, you guys just deliver with that energy too. Awesome. Yeah, so, absolutely. well, let's let's talk about this really quickly. Then I got to get into your story. Sure. Awesome. So this is just our, our nachos. Um, got ground beef, pico, our house made queso, house seasoning inside of it. So uh, super fresh and uh, give it a try. This looks really fresh. And speaking of freshness, I mean, how much of what you guys do here is fresh on a daily basis? Yeah, so you say? everything we make is made from scratch. We start at seven in the morning every single day and start prepping for the day. So it truly is when we say it's fresh, it's made daily. Made Are you serious? Seven in the morning. Yep. So everything on that line back there, That's it. just super fresh. Yes, sir. And did you get into this? I mean, because now people are coming to you and they want to franchise this place right so yeah. you become pretty popular around here in town yes yeah, so uh we are franchised now we have seven locations open um, we opened this location in 2015 and um, started franchising three years ago have seven locations open and uh wow you know so we started the concept with uh you know my background is in restaurants i started in restaurants when i was 12 years old okay so, oh so you've been in the game for I a have, minute man yeah i have yeah wow so, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things I fell into, just loved it and, and progressed along the way. And, um, you know, when we opened this location, my wife and I just wanted something fresh. We had two young kids. So getting in quick and quick service was kind of what we were looking for. So, um, you know, we threw the idea out there and, and uh, got it together and, and made it happen. Two things. First of all, these are delicious. Awesome. Thank you. That beef is fantastic. Very, very fresh. Oh. The other thing, too, what I love about what you said, you started this place out of a necessity that you guys had yourself. Right. Yeah. You're like, hey, you know what? What would we want for ourselves if we opened a restaurant? Well, we want something that's really good, really fresh, and that we can get our kids in and out of. Right. Yep. So when you got a one and three year old, you know. One and three? At the time, yeah. So <laughs> oh, man. It's, uh, you know, get them in, get them out, you know, before their yeah. temper tantrum or a crying spurt. So, um, you know, that was kind of the idea is, you know. Out of your own fresh. personal necessity. Right, yeah. But, but you can still get fresh, good food in, right. a, in a timely manner. Right, yeah. So, um, you know, I was executive chef in fine dining for 12 years. Are you serious? Um, so this was kind of my transition to something fun and, and you know, flavorful and that we could reach everybody with, family. Wow. And, and you know, along with my love with the beach, you know, it's kind of what Combine we brought into with my love of food. So, okay. Um, well, here's something you may not know about me. You guys probably know I nerd out over chefs and, and I would call myself a foodist. So 12 years as an executive chef, I would love to go back in that kitchen with you and maybe have you show me what you guys do back there. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Oh, let's awesome. go. In the kitchen now with, as I just found out, Chef 
Dave. <laughs> Man, you buried the lead, brother. This is incredible. A little bit of history there, I guess. So just as a, as a food nerd, here's my perspective, and I'm gonna see if you're, you're with me on this. Okay. So yes, we're doing fast casual, but we've got beef and chicken and all that. But it's not just regular beef and chicken. It's stuff put together by an executive chef that's been doing it for over 12 years. Right. So I'm sure the seasoning on your food is going to be incredible, bro. I like to have balance. I can't wait to balance try it. Fresh. So what are we going to be making today? So we're going to um, do an Aloha bowl, which is an extremely popular menu item that we have here. Um, a couple of fish tacos. And oh. We'll finish it off and yes. uh, see if you can roll a S-turn burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, I knew he was going to do this to me. One thing I've been nervous about is rolling this burrito, but we got a lot to get to, so let's get to work. Let's do it. All right, it's time. I'm going to have to try to roll this burrito, but you said we can add a couple more toppings. First yeah. of all, what all, what do we have so far on the so burrito? We have our uh, house rice. Um, Pinto beans. We have the carne asada. Oh, love that. Queso, peppers, and onions. Ooh. Our creamy poblano sauce, cheese, lettuce, and then, you know, add a couple of uh, toppings you might I like. I will. So, there. let's see. You know what I'd really like? Fresh jalapeno? Let's so, do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that'd be. In there. I love fresh jalapeno. Might have put a lot on there. Thank you. Love Perfect. that. Maybe a little red onion? Let's do it. Put some red onion on yeah. there. Whatever you like, customize it your way. Okay. Really what I'm doing is I'm stalling <laughs> because I'm not sure how I'm gonna roll this burrito. I'm just like adding things, but I'm probably not doing myself any favors. We're gonna go for it. Though. Okay, so let's, I, when I've seen people in the past, they, they use pinkies and stuff. Pinkies, yeah, that's a that's Is a that a thing trick. that's a great that I trick. watched? Okay. Yep. <laughs> pinkies and you hold it, hold it together. Okay, okay, so talk me through it. What All do right. I do? So let's roll the, the sides over top. These sides? Yep, just over the top? Yep, just gotta put them on top there. Like that? Yep. Okay. Yep. Grab it from this flap here. Okay. Like this? And then here's where you're gonna use your pinkies to hold this right here. Pinkies here? Yep. Pinkies this here? Here. Now what? Yep. Now start rolling it over. Hold it in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean it's there. It's there. It's, it's there. Good. Yeah. I think they, did you overstuff this? Is this like it's more not, than normal? No, that's normal. This is what okay. All right. I went a little light for you. And then from here, just wrap yeah, it in yeah, the... Yeah, just wrap it up. Same thing, kind of Same sides thing, in yeah. and... That works. And we do that, then there's your burrito. That's it. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I think uh, it's time to get out some forks, some knives. Let's get to tasting. Let's do it. All set up here. I'm gonna start with this taco. Sure. This fish taco. Now, I'm gonna brag on you for a second. Okay. You're making these corn tortillas in house. We right? are. Yes. And then, as I was looking at that fish, uh, as you brought it out, man, are are you using tempura batter? We are. Yeah. So it gives a nice little crispy crust on it. Yeah, and that's the thing. So if you, I mean, you're the chef. Right. Explain to folks like what what the difference is and why you would use tempura versus a regular batter. So tempura gets a little bit, a little fluffy and nice and crispy. So it's perfect, I think, for fish tacos. Because you can taste more of that fish, right? Right, yeah. I'm gonna stop talking about it, I'm gonna yeah. do it. What do you think? <laughs> That's outstanding. Awesome, thank you. That is a beachside fish taco if I've ever had one. And you know what else I'm gonna brag on you about? You put big chunks of fish in there, man. You're not <laughs> skimping at all. Good, good size portion. Yeah. Really? And, and that's the thing too, we talked about that tempura batter being so light. There are times where if you have fish and even chicken where it looks like a big piece, yeah. but it's all just breading. Right. And there's just a little bit of fish inside. Yeah. This is just nice the opposite. Thin crust. Yeah, thin, thin layer of tempura. Yeah and just a great hunk of fish in there, man. Perfect. What's the crema on this? So uh, we have two creams on there. One is the uh, roasted poblano crema. Okay. And we top it off with the lime sour cream. It has our house Baja slaw and the pico de gallo. I think it's that poblano that poblano. I'm getting on there because sure. I'm getting sort of, it's it's creamy, but there's like an earthiness to it yeah. almost. Definitely the roasted Like poblanos poblano. have. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's roasted. That's, yep. Oh, yep. That's, that's what I'm tasting. <laughs> 
I feel like a hound dog. I'm like sniffing through the food. Like, oh, I think this poblano's roasted. Mm. All right, one more bite, and then we'll, I gotta try the burrito that I tried to roll. I love that. Awesome. I love it. Okay, we're gonna see how I did. Looks pretty Let's good. Let's see if it holds together for you. Oh man, please don't make a mess. Not on the, not on the cardigan. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty darn good. And so, we got the carne asada in here, carne right? Carne asada, queso, queso, peppers and onions. Can't go wrong. Man. Give it a shot. Oh my goodness. It's one of my favorites. Definitely I mean, customer favorite as well. That carne asada is, ooh, something's giving me a kick right now. Gotta be the jalapenos put on there. Oh, I did put jalapenos on there, didn't I? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's what the kick is. One more bite. Mm. Mm. Chef, you are doing it, man. Thank you. Now, I know your wife is heavily involved in the operation as well, she right? Is. Yes. Is this a project you guys took on together? It is, yeah. A lot of collaboration between the two of us. She's not a chef, but she's a smart girl. And all right. We work together as a great team. Well, here's what I want to do. I'm going to sit down with her a little bit. I guess, listen, I've heard her over here where you can't see really bragging on this guy. So I'm going to sit down with her. I'm going to let her brag on you a little bit more. And um, Sounds good. I want to ask about those menu items because I think there's a special story behind one. There is. All right. She'll tell you. So this is the Kara that we talked about in the kitchen with Dave, and, and I said we're gonna come out here and brag on him a little bit. Absolutely. Um, but this, it's it's time for the rom-com <laughs> section of the show, everybody. You ready? The, it, it's, I feel like I'm like watching The Bachelorette right now. Okay. Because the menu yeah. is very special to you guys. It's it sweet, I mean, in a good way. Yes, yeah, it's very special. So a lot of our menu items we named after surf breaks or things that were important to us. and. The Rencon Burrito is where we got married in Rencon, Puerto Rico. So, Aww. very special to us. That was about 13 years ago. Um, and yeah. The Rencon Burrito Rincon. from Rencon, yeah. Puerto Rico, where you guys got married. So, what's in this before I take a bite? Okay, so we have our house made guacamole, seasoned chicken, rice, beans, pico, sour Ooh. cream. All the good things. All the, all the good things because the good it's things. named after the place you got married, which yeah, is a lot of good things. So I'm gonna take it. First of all, this thing's massive. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to Do take you have a bite. A napkin? <laughs> oh my gosh! Of course not. Of course not. So let me know what you think. It's I will. It's simple. And hey! it's very flavorful. Field producer Austin, come through in the clutch. Oh, this this looks delicious. There we go. That's a great bite. Mm -hmm. There you go. Very good. You guys are not skimping on the ingredients in this thing, oh, man. No. no, I mean, look, it's like it's this is, it, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, and what, another thing I have to compliment you guys on yeah. is, is again, the ratio is fantastic mm -hmm. because uh, some places that I've been to, they'll load it up with a bunch of rice right. and give me two pieces of chicken. That's dry. It's yeah, like not happening. No. This is outstanding. The balance is great. Thank you. And and that's in just a moment. We are going to brag about your husband. Speaking of balance and food. But I think it's really important that we talk about community because I, I, I'm going to sort of break the fourth wall here with you guys. We had to stop. We didn't have to. We wanted to. They wanted to. We stopped filming this morning um, because this is an area of North Carolina. There's a lot of military bases. There was a, a giant bus full of young men headed off to the military. 930 in the morning. They don't open until 11. They opened up the kitchen. We stopped filming so that they could take care of this bus of some of our servicemen that were headed off That'd to camp. Nice. So <laughs> yes, absolutely. breaking that fourth wall, but that's something that you just had to hear. Yeah, but community means yeah. a lot to you guys. Yes, it does. It's actually um, here at Burrito Shack, it's one of our core values is creating a gnarly community. And a gnarly like, community. That's it, the gnarly community. So just like that, opening your doors, you know, they were hungry, ready to go. Um, also, so we were, when we opened our doors in 2015, really to create that um, loyal customer base, we started fundraiser nights. So the local hmm. schools, local sports teams, we will do um, fundraiser nights where the family can come in on a Thursday or 
Monday night um, between five and nine, and we give back 10% of um, the sales back to the school or nonprofit or sports team. So that's so great. We uh, we really take pride in that. It means a lot to us. Um, we believe in supporting the community that supports you. Yes. So that's that's what we stand behind. Yeah, restaurant owners take notice of that because that's something yeah. that is very important. A lot of the people that the restaurants and and uh, owners that we see that are thriving are the people that again like you said take care of the community that take care of you that's such a great way to put that yeah well let's let's brag on your husband for a bit here okay so 12 year executive chef comes in you guys open a fast casual burrito shack and what we've noticed today the through line is his passion for food and his experience in the kitchen. Very, very experienced. There are a lot of fast casual places out there and I get that, that's no secret, right? But I mean, I just mentioned it with this burrito and watching him back there in the kitchen. You know, this is a fast casual that is not just started by some entrepreneur or venture capitalist. This is a fast casual started by a chef. A chef, chef at the helm. I mean, everything from the flavor book profiles to the seasonings to how he displays the, the presentation. The presentation. Those fish tacos amazing. I thought I owed the guy 50 <laughs> bucks for. I was like, man, we got the Amex right now. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, with fast casual, you know, we're we're changing the game. Like yes. this, this, you know, it's important what the food looks like, what it tastes like, you know, just because you're not spending $30 on a meal doesn't mean your meal shouldn't be amazing. Right. And that's what we're here to bring. And your food tastes like it should be $30, you know? (laughs) So some places are upcharging because, but you're doing it the right way. You're doing it from a chef driven perspective, which is unheard of in the fast casual category. So, well, listen, where can people find you online if they're coming through town, if they're coming through Hampstead? um, We have a website, um, burritoshack.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, all the good places. Awesome. (laughs) Well, listen, you definitely want to make sure if you're passing through, you're coming to this area, maybe going to the beach. This is exactly the place that you want to stop. Um, Chef driven, fast, fast casual. I'm here for it all day long. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time on America's Best Restaurants.